Okay, let's talk codominance and blood types, which is a type of codominance. In codominance, neither phenotype is recessive. Be previously, we'd see it's either one or the other, or sometimes there's a blend. In this case, neither one is really setting this one up. They both dominate. So you technically uh, would usually write these with all capital letters. So when you have something that's heterozygous, they are going to express both phenotypes. So let's take a look at this example here. I have a clover on the left and a clover on the right. The clover on the left has three spots on the outside. The clover on the right has three dots on the inside. A heterozygous individual it wouldn't be a blend of the two. It is both. It has spots both on the outside and the inside. Uh, this is a type of uh, flower on the left. You see it's pink on the left and it's white on the right. A heterozygous individual, it's not like a pinkish, whitish blend. It is both pink and it is white. In case you're wondering, it's called the Phlox Peppermint Twist, a very nice looking flower. Uh, this is a hibiscus. Again, what you see on the left is a white one. On the right, you see a red one. A heterozygous individual, it's not white or red. It's both white and red. Blood types would be another example of a codominance. Your blood type is coded for by two alleles, A or B. I know what you're thinking. You're probably wondering, well, wait a minute, isn't there another blood type? And the answer to that is, yes, there is another blood type. It's O. Now, if you don't have an allele, if you don't have the A or you don't have the B, then you have blood type O. Think of it as like a zero. So what you'll have is you'll have this table in your uh, patch. You'll probably want to copy this down. Four blood types. You've got A, B, A, B, and O. If your blood type is A, your genotype is either AA, two A alleles, or AO. So that's an A and then a blank one. If it's blood type B, you either have blood type genotype BB or BO. So if it's B plus A, essentially a zero or a blank one. If you're blood type AB, you only have one potential genotype. You have both of them, A and B. If you're blood type O, then you have two blank alleles, two things where there is nothing there. So here's the four different blood types, A, B, AB, and O. And you see on blood type A, it has only the A. Blood type B has only the B. Blood type AB has both of them. And if you're blood type O, you don't have either one. Here's a, just a breakdown of the population. O positive and A positive collectively is over 70% of the population. Uh, chances are pretty good you're one of those if you don't know. Uh, blood type O negative, I've highlighted here in red. I am blood type O negative. I didn't highlight it because of myself. I highlighted it because it is the universal donor. We'll talk about that later on, but this means I can donate blood to anyone. If you're O negative, you should donate blood as well. It is uh, used in hospitals and emergency rooms.